All right, we have uh, Bob Schultes. Did I say it right? Uh, pretty close. Well accepted. <laughs> Schultice. Schultice. We've got Bob Schultz. Now, Bob, you're driving this fancy race car here. Driver checks a sponsor. Absolutely. Tell us uh, how you got into the racing. Well, I've been involved with racing since I was about 16 years old. Took a couple years off, but then uh, we decided to get back into it yeah. and just love every minute of it. So what circuit are you on? I've got friends who haul NASCAR, and there, I know there's a whole bunch of circuits. Are you on a particular circuit? or The series we run is a Lucas Oil Sportsman Series. Okay. Uh, and the equivalent to that, and, and the national series we're not allowed to name, okay. um, is basically the same car. Okay. Add a million dollars and we can run the same circuit. So <laughs> You'll need a million dollars to run that circuit absolutely, too, right? Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Now, you're telling me you're, a, you're, you're a, a truck driver, or you were a truck driver, you're still in the industry. What do you do now? Uh, I've been involved in trucking since I've been probably 17 or 18, wow. and I'm currently a safety director for a trucking company in Kitchener, Ontario, oh, Capital yeah. Southern Transportation. Oh, I, I, now were they? Nah, we'll get into that later. Yeah. I'm trying to think of there's somebody else. Maybe they are anyway. So, so okay, so tell us, you've got sponsors for this race car, so how does how does this work? Like, is it a hobby for you that's turned into a business, or are you just... This is my hobby. Okay. People have cottages, cabins, boats. You I have, have this. you got a race car. <laughs> and I... And I've been fortunate enough to find the, the great people at Driver Check. I've been working with Driver Check um, in the industry for over 15 years. Yeah. And then, you know, the partnership seemed to be a great fit. Yeah. And, and Driver Check's been a great support for us. It's been absolutely great. So you get these sponsors, and that helps pay the fuel for the car? How does sponsor my words? It's advertising for the sponsor, but how does it all work it's as far as. Right here. <laughs> tires, right? You're looking at tires and gas. That, that's wow. a big cost of running it. Um, you know, you, you can go and we're probably running about two and a half miles per gallon in, as far as fuel economy. <laughs> you mean there's trucks getting better fuel economy than you? Absolutely. <laughs> you know, we run, um, we run basically pump gas, but you're still running a lot of it, right? And then you have the entrance fees to get into it. We've got crew that we need to make sure that we have our, our support crew for the races. Very cool, very cool. We have a dog joining us. You can't see that here, but uh, who, who's this little, is this your dog or? I don't know. <laughs> it's somebody's dog. get him to sign the car, but what do, you, what, do you, what do you think of the convoy? <laughs> what, what do you, you just want to lick my pants or? <laughs> anyway, so, okay, so, so you, uh, do you take on a certain amount of sponsors or are you just anybody that's interested in racing? Like, do you have to be interested in racing? Absolutely not. I mean, with driver check, um, their visibility within the trucking world, and it was a good fit. Uh, a lot of truck drivers love racing, um, and you know we're fortunate enough to mentor friends with the Women's Trucking yeah, yeah, Federation, yeah. and uh, I think just with the the media that you get and the the social sharing that we get, yeah. it's just it's been amazing. I mean, we we've had one one of our videos this year actually hit thirty three hundred views. Wow, so that, wow. That's pretty decent for, you know, for just weekend racing. Okay, so sh shall I ask you on camera how you're doing, standing-wise and all that? Like, are you winning, losing, medium? Uh, you, you could lie if you want, because I, I haven't been checking your stats. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, say it this, I'll say it this way. We've been involved with this sport, and some of the drivers that have been involved have been involved since it's been the, the Canadian Tire Super Series. So you're 20 years. So it's pretty hard for me to catch up. Our goal is to, to fall in the top 10. Uh, we did finish a ninth in our last oh, race, wow. which is which is right where we wanted to hit. And um, we were a little bit higher on points. We, we had a little bit of a loss through the beginning of the year. Um, deciding to have a motor become a boat anchor doesn't help <laughs> in the middle of a race. So, <laughs> do, you have, do you have a whole pit crew and team, or are you just Absolutely. doing this yourself? We have, uh, we have one of the ladies does all of our social media. And uh, we have two pit crew that do all the work. I mean, every weekend is, is a whole bunch of work before you even start the car, right? right, right. Um, and again, these motors here aren't exactly what you would find in your corner garage. So <laughs> there's a lot of maintenance that goes with it as well. How, how long's your season? When do you guys start and when do you end? We're in September now when we're doing this. When, when would the season end? We are done. Like our, our, our last race was last week. Uh, typically, we start at the beginning towards the middle of May, the May 
May 24th weekend is the first race. And we typically have between six and eight races per, uh, per year. And we run all over Ontario. I mean, we run from Delaware. Unfortunately, Delaware and London, Ontario got rained out. But we run as far um, east as Peterborough and up into Barrie at Sunset Speedway and then Flamborough and Full Throttle. So it's a great, great bunch of uh, tracks to go to. Very cool. Well, thank you for your time. Good luck with your race season. And uh, we're, 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 we're going to be voting for you from the stands uh, next time. So we appreciate it.